Welcome to H2K Infosys. H2K Infosys is a e-verify business based in Atlanta, Georgia, United States. We provide 100% job-oriented, instructor-led, face-to-face, true live online software training programs. It also includes access to Cloud Test Lab with software tools. We provide live project for you to work on. We also provide assistance with mock interviews, resume preparation and review, and job placement assistance. H2K Infosys is trusted by so many students across the world. H2K Infosys provides world-class services in IT training with real-time project work for corporates and individuals, special IT training for MS students in the United States, software design development, QA manual and automation, performance testing and maintenance, IT staff augmentation, job placement assistance and tech support. as day of week then if V number is equal to 1 then we got to show the Sunday one second okay Sorry. So, um, yeah, it is necessary put the, to put the default value. I mean, without this also, it can be done. But this is the best way because what happens is if you do not enter the default value, when there is no value entered, it will start giving you a kind of exception or an error. Okay. And by entering the default value, you are not ensuring that you will get the right output, but at least you are sure that your program is not going to throw an error. Okay. So that is a reason it is always a best practice that you maintain, I mean you enter the default value. Okay, Uma? Yes. So next is like, yeah, we have the Tuesday over here. Okay, then I have copy the same thing. So we have, um, yeah, Sunday, sorry, this is Monday. Okay, and then um, if it is like 3, then we have it as Tuesday. If it is 4, then we will have it as like Wednesday. Okay, and then if it is 5, we have it as Thursday. And then 6, we can have it as like Friday. And 7, 
then we can say that this is going to be our Saturday all right and if all these are false then we have the last else which should say invalid choice okay so I write here invalid is it clear everybody is this how you have written you will not get any error Pavni see if you are giving uh, the default value you are making sure that you know there will be no error in future right not that you will be getting the error right away but in future you will not get any error if somebody forgets to enter the value and simply clicks on the OK button okay they are just taking a kind of precaution over there it is a best programming practice alright okay so V number if it is 1 then it is Sunday if it is 2 it is Monday 3 then 4 5 6 7 okay and the last one if it is like none of the above the else condition is what it is invalid is it clear everyone this is how you do the check I can run it okay one I enter it shows me Sunday then it comes out of the loop okay if I want to check again again I have to run the program can we avoid this thing can we you know do it in such a way that till I say stop it is not going to stop okay I want to give this entire control of the execution to the user till the user says stop asking me the program should go on running what can be done we can use the do while loop since what I will be doing is this entire thing I will put it into the loop okay how will I do in the sense I will start over here I will put this entire code okay into the do while loop okay then I will check a condition over here if continue is equal to 1 then again start from the beginning and here I am going to ask the user okay before I check the condition I am going to ask do you want to continue okay I ask the user if you want to continue if he enters continue is equal to 1 then again we start here from the beginning and then we start asking him okay enter your choice and then we will display again at the end we will ask do you want to continue he will say yes then again start from the beginning unless and until he says no we are not going to exit the program so what am I doing here this entire script I will be putting into the loop what does the loop mean if I say do and then the statement and then the while over here the condition means I am telling the QTP to execute this block as long as this condition is true ok I write a condition over here and do while loop how it works means unless and until this condition is true this block will get re-executed every time it starts from here ok do and then it does the first block of statement and it will check the condition if the condition is true it will come back over here it will execute again it will check the condition if it is true again go back if it is true again go back so only when the condition is false ok it comes out of the loop till the condition is true the block will get executed so this entire code I will put it inside this block your entire if else statement so that it is going to ask me repeatedly is it clear everybody shall we do this ok so this entire thing we will put it into the do while block from here we will put ok so that you know it asks the number also so I say here do ok then do you see a loop has already come up over here then I cut this entire thing and then we put it inside the loop here do you see I put the entire thing into the loop I make sure okay I always give a proper uh, formatting so that I do not get confused regarding the code this is a good programming practice okay make sure you do a proper formatting so that if any modifications are to be done and you know if you are using the nested if you will not get confused
So do you see this entire thing we have put it into the loop. Then we write a while condition over here. While then write a condition if continue equal to 1. And then we got to ask the user here. Okay. Do you want to continue? Continue equal to input box. Then I am telling the user enter 1 if you want to continue. Okay. Sure Shanti, I will give you, no problem. Continue and then by default I am setting it as 1. Okay. First I will show you the execution and then you know you can write this program. Alright. So we have written the program over here. Let me run this. Click on OK. See how it is going to run. So it is asking me enter the choice of the week. I have entered 1 here. I click on OK. So it is displaying Sunday to me. This is fine. Click on OK. Now it is asking me, do you want to continue? If I have to continue, then it is telling me enter 1. I click on OK. Again it is asking me, enter the choice. I say 5. Click on OK. So it is telling me 5 is Thursday. Again it is going to ask me, enter 1 if you want to continue. Yes, I do. Click on OK. Enter the choice. I enter 6. Click on OK. Friday. Again it is asking me, do you want to continue? Yes, I want to continue. Enter the choice now. 5. Thursday. Do you see? So till I say it to stop, it is not going to stop. Now I enter 2 here instead of 1. So see here, I am entering 2. It means that I want to end the program. Click on OK. The program ends. Do you see? Is it clear everybody? Okay. Fine. So now you want to write this program. You can take some time to write it. Okay. Let me uh, reduce little bit of font. You know. So you can see the entire thing on a single page. Okay. I'll make it 12. Okay. So that you know you can see a complete program on the same page. Right. Okay. So if you want to write it, you can write it. Somebody was asking me to give some time to write it. You can please write it. Is it clear everybody how the looping is going to work? Sure Ritu, you can take the time. Yes Varna, any questions? Yeah. Wait, let me unmute you Swarna, and you can ask your question. Yes, go ahead. I have unmuted you. Um, I'm not able to unmute you once again. Okay, one second Swarna. You are not getting the loop, is it? Okay. Show me your screen. I will tell you what to do. Okay. Yes. Okay.
see if I put do here, Priya, I'm not getting the loop under. I should get it right. Mm -hmm. You should get it. Yeah. That's okay. You off? can type it. Okay. 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 You pressed enter or you press space? You should press the space, not enter. Oh, okay. Do okay, I'm getting it. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. thanks. You're yeah, welcome. Thanks. Okay, if anybody has any issues, please let me know. So many of our students have given testimonials on how our training programs are. You will find them on kudzu.com and on our website h2kinfosys.com. On our website h2kinfosys.com, you will also find more detailed information on who we are, the courses that we offer, what each course covers. Also, if you're interested in a demo program, please register on our homepage on the left hand side. Just give us more information about yourself and we will send you a link for a demo class. The demo class is absolutely free. Experience our commitment by just attending an orientation workshop at no cost. Our team of faculty and advisors are here to guide you with the right information. If you still have more questions, please feel free to call us. Call us at 770-777-1269. This is a United States number. If you're calling from the UK, call us at 020-337-1269. 17615. You can also email us at training at h2kinfosys.com or h2kinfosys at gmail.com. Thank you for watching our videos. We wish you a great career in information technology.